Welcome to yet another Power BI video. In this video, we shall see how to perform a simple linear regression using the Linest DAX function, which has been newly introduced in the Power BI February 2023 update. Let's first look at the definition of simple linear regression. According to Wikipedia, in statistics, Linear regression is a linear approach for modeling the relationship between a scalar response and one or more explanatory variables, also known as dependent and independent variables. The case of one explanatory variable is called simple linear regression. For more than one, the process is called multiple linear regression. Here's an example. This is a scatter plot wherein along the x-axis we've plotted years of experience and along the y-axis we've plotted the salary. The dots represent the corresponding salary for each value of year of experience. The dotted line that you see here is called the trend line. This trend line has been created in Excel using the simple linear regression. This line is the best fitting line which either passes through or passes very close to a vast majority of points. In short, this trend line can help us predict the values of salary based on the years of experience. Any straight line is represented by the equation y equals mx plus c. So this applies to the trend line as well. y is the value of the y coordinate. In this case, it's the salary. m is the slope of this line. x is the value of the x coordinate, which is the year of experience. And C is the y-intercept. Y-intercept is the value of y when the value of x is zero. Or in short, it is the length of the y-axis from the origin till the point where this line intersects the y-axis. So if we know the values of the slope and the y-intercept, and if we have the value of x, we can predict the value of y. The new DAX function linest helps us to find the values of m and c so that using the value of x, we can predict y. So let's go to Power BI Desktop and see how we can do that. On your screens is the Power BI Desktop. Let's get data from a CSV file. The CSV file is obtained from a Kaggle database and the link has been provided in the description of this video so that you can download that and try it out yourself. So let's click on get data, click on text slash CSV, salary data dot CSV is my file, click on open. Let's click on load. Here's the salary data file with two columns, salary and years of experience. Let's create a scatter plot by clicking on this icon. Along the X axis, we shall drag and drop years experience. We do not want the sum of years of experience. So let's expand this and select don't summarize. We can edit this and make it years of experience so that it looks more presentable. Along the y-axis, let's drag and drop salary. And here you can see the scatter plot. We can add a trend line to this scatter plot by clicking on the analytics button here. You can see the trend line option. We can turn on the toggle switch. You can see the trend line. We can expand this and format it. I can change the color to red and the line style can be changed from dash to solid or dotted. However, at the moment, we do not know the equation to this line. To get the equation of this line, you may recall that we have to get the slope and the y-intercept. We shall use the linest DAX function to get that. We shall first look at a Microsoft document on Linest DAX function and see what it does. The Linest DAX function uses the least squares method to calculate a straight line that best fits the given data, then returns a table describing the line. The equation for the line is of the form y equals slope 1 times 1 plus slope 2 times 2 plus intercept. Here's the syntax, linest. 
the first argument is column y, the second argument is column x, and here's the definition of the various parameters. Column y is the column of known y values, must be scalar. Column x is the column of known x values, it again must be scalar, at least one must be provided. The constant, which is optional, is a constant true or false value specifying whether to force the constant intercept to zero. If true or omitted, the intercept value is calculated normally. If false, the intercept value is set to zero. What will be returned? A single row table describing the line plus additional statistics. These are the available columns, slope 1, slope 2, etc. to slope n. That depends on how many independent variables you have. Intercept is the intercept value, standard error, slope 1, slope 2, etc. depending on slope 1, 2, etc. Standard error, intercept corresponding to the intercept. Coefficient of determination, standard error, F statistic, degrees of freedom, regression of sum of squares, residual sum of squares. All these are statistical terms which we are not going to use in this example. We shall be using only the slope 1 and the intercept. Here's an example. Linest, internet sales amount, internet total product cost, and the result is a single row table with all these columns. Here there's only one independent variable, which is the total product cost. The corresponding slope is slope 1, and we see the intercept and various other statistics. We can see a description of all these columns here. For a given internet sale, this model predicts the sale amount by the following formula. Sale amount equals slope 1 times the total product cost plus the intercept, which is exactly similar to y equals m times x plus c. Here's an example of a case of multiple independent variables yearly income, total children, and birth rate. In this case, we will have three slopes. In a multivariate model, the model is given by the equation total sales amount equals slope 1 times yearly income. Yearly income is the first variable. Slope 2 corresponds to total children and slope 3 corresponds to birth date. So slope 2 times total children and slope 3 times birth date plus the intercept. So we shall use this concept in our example. Line S returns a table. So let's go to the modeling tab. Click on new table. Let's call the table line S data. We shall use the line S DAX function. Start parenthesis. The first parameter that we have to give is the column Y, which in our case is the salary. Type a comma. The second parameter is column X1, which in our case is years experience. So let's click on this. The third parameter is a constant. If false, it will change the y-intercept to zero. We don't want that. So let's close parenthesis and press enter. We have a linest data table here. Let's expand this. We can see the various columns. If I click on the data view, you can see a single row table with 10 columns and the various values. Let's go back to the report view. So from this table, we are going to use the slope and the intercept to create a measure that predicts salary values based on years of experience. Before creating the measure, let's create a slicer which allows us to select the various years of experience. To create a slicer, let's go to the modeling tab, click on new parameter, Let's select numeric range. What will your variable adjust? It will adjust a numeric range. Let's name this parameter as exp slicer. The data type, let's expand this and select a decimal number. Minimum value, let's select 1. We shall increment 0 0.5 because we are going to allow for 1 year, 1 and a half years, 2 years, 2 and a half years, and so on. Select the maximum as 25. We will leave this checkbox checked so that this will add a slicer to the page. Let's click on Create. A slicer has been added here. Let's resize this a little bit and format it. So we have our slicer ready. Now let's create the measure. Let's click on the salary data table, new measure. Let's call the measure predicted salary. 
you may recall the equation for the line which is y equals mx plus c. m is represented by the slope in this table. So let's type selected value and let's select line is data slope 1 close parenthesis. Type an asterisk which represents the multiplication symbol. We have to provide the x value which is the years of experience. The years of experience we are going to select from this slicer. For that, we shall use selected value. The field that we are going to use is exp slicer. So let's select this, close parenthesis. This represents m times x. Now we have to add plus and c or y intercept, which is given by the value intercept in this table. So let's type selected value again and select the intercept column. Close parenthesis. Let's press enter. You can see the new measure predicted salary here. We can display the predicted salary using a card visual. So let's click on the card visual and under the fields, let's drag and drop predicted salary. At the moment, the value selected in this years of experience slicer is one year and the predicted salary is 35.24. If we move the slider to the right, for four and a half years, it is 68.32. Let's find out whether this predicted salary is similar to the actual salary. Let's hover the mouse over four and a half years of experience and we see that the salary is 61,111. But you may see that this point is a little away from the line and that explains the slight variation. Let's change this to 7. It's 91.94k, whereas we find that it is 91,738 for 6.8 years. So the measure that we've created using the linest DAX function is a good predictor of salary. Let's try plotting the years of experience in the experience slicer and the predicted salary in a scatter plot. Let me click on New Page, Scatter Chart. Along the x-axis, let's drag and drop exp slicer. And along the y-axis, let's drag and drop predicted salary. We can see a straight line showing an increasing trend. Let's click on the analytics button, turn on the trend line, expand this. Let's change the color to red. We can make it a solid line and you can see that all these points are exactly lying on the trend line which means that the measure created using the slope and the intercept provided by the linest function works really well. We can customize the title of this card visual to display the years of experience selected in this slicer. For that, we can create a measure. So let's click on salary data, create a new measure. Let's call it card title equals, let's start with double quotes predicted salary for close double quotes type an ampersand which represents the concatenate operator which joins two strings and now we have to provide the selection that is made in the exp slicer which is selected value exp slicer another ampersand within double quotes years of experience let's press enter now add this title to the card visual. For that, let's click on the format your visual icon. The category label is on at the moment, which displays predicted salary. Let's turn this off and go to the general tab. Turn the title on, expand this. At the moment, the text box is empty. You can see FX or conditional formatting for text. Let's click on this. The format style is field value. What field should we base this on? We should base this on the newly created measure. So let's expand this and expand salary data. Select card title. Click on OK. Now you can see predicted salary for seven years of experience. As we change the slicer, we can see the text changing. Let's change the font and the color of this text, the alignment to center. Turn the text wrap on. So we've customized the title according to the slicer selection. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content. Please subscribe to our channel and help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark. 
While subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall get notified immediately as soon as we upload new content in our channel. We are very grateful to all our subscribers and viewers. Thank you very much for your continued patronage and support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.